Oh my god, is that Louie? She can't control me, not a controller. I'm taking off, make a move over. She feel the key, hey, be sober. Rocket be loaded, you know I'm alone. I cannot love you, I'm on to the next. Play with a kitty like I got a pet. Surprise, every time I buy you gifts like baby, I'm proud of you. Gonna get mine, taking expensive trips like how I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna shine, Tony, you're killing my mix, and his numbers through the room. But baby, don't lie, cause I got a bag of tricks I could expose to you. Every time you lies to me, I know. She just makes the heart and trust with my soul. She was telling lies, nope. lies, lies, I know. What's good, YouTube? Jay Jones here, and today we're going to break down the 8082 Ultra V2. I got some stuff to tell y'all about these, man. You guys have asked that I test more than big brands, so today I'm going to show y'all a little something different. Here's the 8082 Ultra V2. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's get into it. The traction on the 8082 wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as good for me as others made it to be. The solid rubber outsole here I feel works perfectly fine on clean courts, but if the court is a little dusty, you may find yourself slipping more at times than you would like. Now this is a different version, so maybe it depends on if you get the regular or the ultra. I don't know, it's like four different versions of these though. But I think most of them have the same pattern. And I'ma say this, when I was on the court and I was hooping in these, yeah, I had to wipe quite a bit. Now the grooves are thick, which means you could probably get away with hooping outdoors in these if you want it. However, on the flip side of that, because the grooves are thick, if you're hooping on a dusty floor inside like I was, dust may form in the grooves making the traction feel a little inconsistent when playing. Again, be sure to wipe often, keeping that dust out of there as much as possible, and then, you should be straight. Now the material choice I thought was pretty solid. This version features a fuse and mesh upper that's well ventilated throughout the top of the sneaker. A pretty flexible material overall. It is pretty thin, which I don't mind, and I like the overall form-fitting fit that you get when you hoop in these. If I had to compare this to something, I would probably compare it to engineered mesh from the past. It's not exactly the same, but kind of gives that same type of feel when you hoop it. Maybe not as premium as woven or your top knit choices, but flexible enough to not restrict movement when playing, and that's what you want from a nice upper. Now let's slide to the cushion real quick. The 8082 Ultra V2 has Lenny's Boom Technology midsole that's soft and compresses well for those who are light on their feet. It is a midsole and not an insole, which means you can take it out, making the cushioning setup a little more versatile overall, in my opinion. And this is what I want you guys to know, being light on your feet is the key here. Now if you have heavy feet, Real big toes need a lot for impact protection. Hell no. I'm gonna tell you, this is probably not the setup for you. Again, the Boom technology is soft, squishy, and compresses nicely when playing, but not made for a lot of impact. So keep that in mind before purchasing. The fit and lockdown are both really solid on this sneaker as well, and that's due to the dynamic shell, the carbon fiber heel, and the overall fit. Now this is easily the best feature on the shoe in my opinion, I like this. The dynamic shell operates the same way as all inner sleeves or inner booty structure sneakers should, keeping you pretty stable overall and not restricted at the same time. Now it may be difficult to put your foot in here at first but let me tell you once you do you're locked in you're secure and ready to go this shell right here feels really nice on your ankle so if you have minor ankle issues this may be a nice little pickup for you and the strap is more elastic than it seems so although it looks high it doesn't feel high when you're playing so it kind of still performs as a low okay Lenny you got my attention I do like the carbon fiber placement to show that there was an upgrade from the other models, but I will admit it does make the shoe feel a little heavy in the back compared to the other parts of the sneaker. That's just me though. Also, it is a narrow sneaker, so I'm not mad at those who have wide feet and need to go up half a size. I get it. But me, I stay true to size, and you can do the same if you don't have wide feet. So if you wear that 10, hell yeah, just get that 10, jerk. Overall, the 8082 Ultra V2 is a solid three and a half out of five stars to me. It kind of felt like I had the 2K4 Hirachi with a Kobe midsole. Eh. And that's not too shabby if you ask me. That's all right. Now, the only thing is that I do feel like something is missing. Something. Maybe a little more midfoot, a more structured shank or something. I don't know, but I just kind of felt like when I was cutting and planting that the shoe would kind of roll in on me at times. I don't know if you guys could see this, but again, the material is pretty thin, like flat overall. And sometimes I feel like I would just, it would roll in 
kind of like that. It will roll in on me at times. And now some may like this because again, the material choice kind of allows for it to be flexible and to move that way. But me, it kind of takes some getting used to. Now I like the design and how the sneaker looks. I put them on at the gym and I had a lot of people come up like, hey bro, what are those? That's a good look. They, they look smooth on the court. I'm not going to lie. And it's something different. So if you do get them, you probably one of few who will have this sneaker and the Bruce Lee colorway. It's fire. I also like how the sneaker came with these little cards to kind of show you the features i thought that was a little touch and i think this is something that all the brands should do kind of showing you the features that this shoe should have before you even purchase like you can look on the website see the labeling and know okay dynamic strap huh i might need that but that's all for me man thank you guys for watching if you have a pair of these let me know what you think next performance test will probably be the way of Wade 10 or jason tatum one yeah i'm ready to see what them tatum's talking about thank you guys for supporting keep watching everything man and i'll see y'all on the next one peace Y'all have a good one. Yeah. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying, lightning struck, power out, his sparks was flying. You can take the miss all right out. Hold on. Look. Damn. Boom, huh? All right, boom. Look, see? See?